I'm Dave Arnold from Existing Conditions, a bar on West 8th Street, friendly neighborhood bar where you can come as you are. And as you're saying that, yeah. um, some smoke is billowing in in the bottom so, right corner. Well, we do have some, look, there's a hydraulic press going in the background. I mean, we have the stuff, we have all the toys, yeah. but we don't necessarily want you to feel anything other than having a nice bar experience when you're here. You have been dubbed the um, mad scientist of the cocktail world. I prefer angry scientists. Angry scientists. Also, you design machines. Yeah. I like to learn new things. I like to do new things. Tell me about, is it called the waffle turkey? Yeah, so the waffle turkey is relatively low tech in the sense that we just make waffles, like waffles. Like uh, the food. And then, yeah, the food, waffles. <laughs> and then we dump uh, wild turkey 101 on it. And then we let it sit for three or four days. So you get this kind of like, you know, bready, like buttery, waffly thing. Then we put that in 20 ton hydraulic press and we squeeze all of the liquor back out. So this is the waffle yeah. juice. And then we add a little bit of maple syrup. So it's like breakfast. It is. Waffles. Yeah. If you own a bar, a good idea when you're working with new drinks is to uh, have somebody else make the recipes in case and to make sure that the recipe is bulletproof across people and the specs are accurate. One of the rules we have is make a drink, oh it's great, now let it sit for 15 minutes on the bar, see how it tastes when it's warmed up, when it's died down a little bit, see whether it's still good or whether it goes radically out of balance. When you look at this bottle you're just like, oh that's just clear, like what did you really do? But that's probably like a full day's of work that's like several clarified juices, water that you have to go up to Saratoga Springs to harvest. Yeah. Um, and then That's amazing. several carbonation steps. It just tastes so different to what it looks like. like. Yeah. <laughs> Colorful yeah. fruit. It's Expecting jarring. That you're going to have something like yeah. pretty basic, and then all of a sudden you're like, there's a lot happening. Exactly. Yeah. This drink is called Purple Fresh. Purple basil goes in your wow. shaking tin. And why purple basil and not green basil? Delicious. Okay. And because it's purple. Okay. Liquid nitrogen. <laughs> So this is for a technique called nitro muddling. Two ounces of lini aqua. Three quarters of an ounce of acid of just grapefruit juice. So per liter of fresh grapefruit, we're adding 40 grams of citric acid powder to bring it to the same acidity as lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Five drops of a 20% saline solution. We salt all our drinks, season a drink the same way you'd season food. That. Purpose. I'm sure that some people are gonna have to see all of this crazy stuff that you're doing and think this is over the top This is a gimmick. What do you say to those people? Our drinks from a presentation standpoint are very austere Our goal is anything you order here You shouldn't have to know anything about it to think it's delicious We get people in who have no idea what we're about or someone who knows about us but comes in is like which just happens all the time that's not what I expected. I expect you to be kind of more pretentious <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. We're like no <laughs> if you want to be alone and brooding, then we want you to feel like you can do that. If you want to have an awesome first date or an anniversary or a time out with your friends, we want you to feel comfortable and happy doing that. We want you to feel your best self.